Welcome back, guys. Doing Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. Tarot is for entertainment purposes. It also give you some clarity to your situation. If you'd like to book a read with me, you could head over to Venmo, Jesse Ray 21 or head over to rootsandrewards.com to see the services that I have over there. There's merch, there's cord cutting, reads, there's apparel over there that's limited quantity. So go check it out. I'm going to be adding some more new stuff there too. Just a heads up. Make sure to like and subscribe over here and on other outlets. The link is in the description box below. All right, so water signs, let's see what's going on with you guys. What is going on with the water signs? You don't have to be a water sign for it to resonate. If it found you, it just may be for you. If you get offended by dirty talk or uh, nudie cards, just find your way out of the read because I do talk a little dirty. Come again another day. All right, you got seduction here. Ooh, there's an attraction. You got dating, hooking up. Temptation is coming in. All right. Temptation. Somebody is tempting you. Somebody. You got interest in someone here. Jeez. You got interest in someone here. You got. You guys are uh, getting a more positive mindset. You have abundance coming in. You're freeing yourself. You're showing gratitude for what you do have in your life now. All right. That's good. Showing gratitude brings in blessings for us. You get what you give. So you give out blessings, you'll get blessings right back to you. All right. So the sword and the rose, you're getting some truth. You're coming to some clarity, some knowing. You're becoming more powerful and you're protecting your energy here. Uh, there is union coming in. A soul connection. This could be someone proposing to you a wedding wedding rings is here somebody could be proposing engagement to you proposing that you go out proposing you know they're confessing their love to you that someone's promising that they're wanting to have abundance with you here all right let's see i like it air signs and water signs you guys are you guys have some new fucking energy new fucking energy ten of cups you're gaining your wish fulfillment you're gaining your happy home happy partnership career whatever it is for you you're leaving this uh immaturity behind you're growing up all right you're growing up and you're you've worked through some of your insecurities here so now you're you're able to grow your ten of cups so you guys have done some work you're healing yeah, you got a stable foundation coming in. Someone's wanting to grow a legacy with you. They want to come in and fill your basket up. So financially, this could also mean that finances are coming uh, are coming in and they're they're growing bigger for you. There's that clarity, that truth, that new beginning going forward with a clear mind. Someone has clear intentions. Uh, somebody in your past. I would say was was not able to come in very quickly and give you an emotional offer. So you stopped, I think you guys have stopped putting effort into someone that doesn't show emotional investment in you. There's no move there's no more movement towards that person because there's no victory in it sorry so thirsty today so there's no victory with that past person what's this card that's not supposed to be there all right so now now you're guarding so you're you are protecting yourself from a past person i just saw 505 look up that angel number um so right now you are guarded uh, away from this person you may be listening to a lot of uh naysayers there may be some gossip maybe a lot of people in your ear telling you the situation or the scenario whatever it is there's there's people coming at you that you're trying to protect yourself from that you're holding back from you could be um 
you I feel like some of you guys are trying to hold funds maybe you're holding tightly to your funds or you're saving you're needing to save possibly but I think there you're gonna have more money in hand I really do feel that you guys are gonna have more money in hand but don't be greedy See, you have abundance. You have this abundance coming in. You have these finan finances coming in and you have this, this love opportunity coming in. Uh, make sure that you are being grateful and not being greedy or like, you know, bougie, bougie with your energy and not give anything away. You know, you gotta, you know, you gotta do even reciprocation here. So when you become blessed, you bless others. So if you're being blessed, say with this situation, I feel like you guys are being blessed all around, but right in these two cards, I feel like you guys are gonna be blessed with finances. So if you are, are blessed with finances, you take your little bit, you take a little bit, a little portion of that, and you bless someone else with that in, able, in, in order to continue to have these blessings come into you. So show gratitude for what you are claiming doesn't mean that you have to, you know, throw it back the same way, but doing nice gestures. It doesn't have to be finances. Doing nice gestures, um, giving time, time away, you know, time is so valuable. It's more valuable than anything. So giving your time away. All right. Let's see. You got clarity. You got truth. You got new beginnings. You're re being released. You're releasing from bondage. What's this clarity? This Ace of, Ace of Swords. You guys could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, there's an Empress here for you guys. This may be you. All right, you may be a Taurus or dealing with a Taurus. You're showing a lot of value in yourself and obviously you guys are going towards manifesting what you're wanting in your life. You're putting out this good feel energy you're rising to the occasion people see that and people are going to be attracted to this energy money is going to be attracted to this energy good health is going to be attracted to this energy because you're now standing in your value and your mind is clear so when our mind is clear and we're within our own energy we then can attract energy like energy so you get what you give, you get what you put out. So now your mindset is changing. You've cut off, you've become illuminated to relationships that don't fill your cup up. You stop going towards them. So you start understanding that you can, can't continue to work for these relationships that are not working back for you, you. That aren't showing victory in you. Six of wands. Yeah, stopping, stalking a person, watching a person, asking about this person, taking back your energy, not really worrying about what they're doing, who they're socializing with. Release it uh, completely. Some of you guys may have to set some boundaries with people to make sure that uh, you're not being taken advantage of here. Right, so making sure that you speak clearly, you communicate your, your thoughts clearly. The Empress. All right. So you have all this abundance coming in, you have new beginnings coming in, but yet right now in this present moment no this could be past present future you place yourself but i see that some of you guys you are going towards this emperor energy empress energy or emperor energy it's not uh male female but you're going towards this energy but right now at the present moment i feel like you guys are still stuck uh, in this contemplation, this confusion and uh, stressful state. You just can't quite uh, release yourself, like become unstuck from the situation. So some of you are still dealing with a little bit of, 
of the past energy. But there will be balance here. There is balance coming in. It's going to be justified for you. It could be a Libra, Leo, Pisces. I feel like someone is going to be coming in and communicating some type of apology or giving some type of enlightenment after they felt uh, that they left you out in the cold. You left out them out in the cold. You guys weren't communicating clear with clearly with one another. There is this person coming in wanting to set the set things straight with you but this past person i don't feel is coming back to fully invest in you they're not leaping towards you in that way yeah not leaping towards you to have a relationship here you do have a partnership here though but this this partnership is no longer considered a soulmate relationship it's in reverse maybe it once was a soulmate connection but no longer it could be a cancer leo aries sag is here you do have a partnership coming in here or you could have been recently in a long-term commitment i think yeah hold on yeah so in this line here this card's telling me that you're coming out of a partnership that you could have been married to this person have children with this person or just a long-term commitment that's no longer going to be all right, so Justice Libra. There's someone else here, though, to give you your Ten of Cups. So you get your Ten of Cups. Family life, home life becomes balanced. You start feeling a lot better, a lot lighter and brighter, focusing on the happy times instead of this isolation and sadness and victim mentality. You're coming out of this victim mentality. You're figuring out what path you need to go on, which is having a clear mind and detaching from anything that does not fill up your cup. So if there's no emotional beginnings, we're not going to go towards it. All right. So who's this new person coming in? Let's just see. Put these away. Who's this new person? Ten of Cups wants to stick around. I like it. Who's this new person coming in? Seduction. Past person, you will get an apology and smooth things over with that person. But they uh, may be a little bit of a sweet talker, but it's not going to grow that. So there's no stability in that past relationship. All right, so who's this new person that's seducing you? Ooh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very stern individual, someone that, that definitely works hard, is a very hard worker. This person may own multiple businesses or just have some type of wealth behind them. Kind of looks like Chuck Nor Norris. <laughs> this person may have a little bit of a five o'clock shadow beard, a little bit of length on their hair. Still short, but a little bit of length. This person here, uh, they come in to give abundance. They have a very positive mindset. They're very optimistic in their energy, very optimistic. Uh, they, they're not one to um, lack of giving. This person doesn't lack giving, right? This is a giving energy. Very, um, I would say this person is very generous. Generous, definitely generous. And that's why they, they're blessed. This person is definitely blessed in their life because they show gratitude and they show reciprocation to their connections, which they're allowed to have celebrations. They can, they can enjoy their life. And yeah, they got wealth behind them. They got abundance behind them. They, uh, they definitely know they're, they're valuable. This person also saves too. They're not, uh, they're not crazy with their finances. Person does like, you know, their downtime. They like to, you know, cloak themselves a little bit and protect their energy. And that's good. Virgo here. That's good that the person isolates, takes some time to, you know, do some introspection on their week, on their life. Always, this person always has the wheels turning to see how they can better themselves, better their finances. I really like it. The stability of this person. Uh, Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. 
in reverse. Yeah, they're, they are hot for you. This person is is hot for you. They, they are going to be taking action. This person is coming up as a king two times now. So definitely the maturity is there with this person. Um, they are pretty sexy they have they have a little bit of sex appeal to them i don't think it's like a rico suave uh sexy but like a very mature like i know i'm boss i know them i'm the boss and you're not going to tell me any different like there's a little bit of like the ego but that that good alpha alpha ego um on the the light side of the ego not the fearful ego that this person won't knock you down and shit uh this person yeah they're not very hot-headed or, or temperamental they're pretty they're pretty calm this individual seems like they have um they are grounded but they do have like this this nonchalant like sex appeal about them but they're not one to be you know this person is not a person that you hang out with them and you go drinking and they get stupid they blow a gasket you know no they don't lose their temper very often they're not they're not a fighter they're, they're like a lover all right ten of pentacles clarifying with the ace of motherfucking cups ten of pentacles the ace of cups so right here this person is emotionally available for abundance for a love connection to fill cups fill your cup you fill their cup this person in these cards looks like a really good catch you could be marrying this person in the future or see the potential they have like husband or wife potential, this person. They got potential. Potential that's seen, not potential. You know, sometimes we sit there and say, oh, he's such a good guy, and but he doesn't have this and he doesn't do that. But he has potential. No, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna see a person's potential and just wipe away the red flags of their motherfucking, motherfucking ass. This is a person that shows that there's potential. Like backing, actions and words lining up with one another. That's what this person um, is showing. They do have a vulnerable side. <laughs> they do have a vulnerable side and I think it could be a Leo. This person does have a vulnerable side to them. They'll let you take the reins a little bit. They'll they'll lower their guard. They don't fear lowering their guard a little bit to show you that, you know, they do have feelings and emotions and they are sensitive. Even though they're a boss, they still, you know, have a heart. <laughs> they're not deceptive. They they're not about lie, ch lying, cheating, stealing. That's good. They're not about hiding those feelings. Like I said, this person will show vulnerability. This person's looking for a queen that will emotionally invest in them or a king, someone to give them unconditional love that will stand on their own. So they're looking for a match. They're looking for their match. So they're looking for a person that is very caring and giving and motherly or fatherly and also shows stability but also like a lighthearted energy i think this person in their lifetime they might have had a lot of conflict and that's why this person is such um such a boss yeah i think this person possibly was knocked down quite a bit when they were younger made to feel that they weren't good enough but they've elevated from that mindset and that programming and they've become this this emperor this person that's able to multitask very intelligent very good looking gives orders this is an entrepreneur 
they just got this this energy that nobody could fuck with them because they've worked they've worked to gain that respect this person has respect of the community they've definitely worked to gain their community and be well respected or well known this could be a well known individual could be a politician could be a celebrity they're not greedy they're not greedy with their funds or their time no 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 moon card pisces yeah they're not they're not coming into burden at all they don't want to be a burden on anyone this is a type of person that it feels like this person they they do a lot of things on their own in their own time in their own energy this person doesn't really uh, reach out to many people for help because they're like, all right, I'm the boss. If I want it, I want it done a certain way. So if I want it done a certain way, I got to do it my damn self. So they just, they just go after. They're a go-getter. This person is a go-getter. So they're not trying to have people do a lot of things for them or burden individuals uh, just to take advantage. Yeah, this is not a taker. This is not a taker energy. This is a, I want to be victorious with you. I want you to stand above the crowd with me on even ground. And like in this picture, this person has popularity behind them. I think a lot of people watch this person. There's armor, armor on this person. Armor. The person could be in the army. So they may protect people. I don't know, I'm getting Russia off of this card. I don't know if those are Russian buildings in the back. I know a lot's going on with Russia right now, but maybe this person's fighting over in Russia. Okay, that might be for one of you. They don't wanna wait to come towards you. Yeah, they don't wanna wait to come towards you. You may feel right now this person is not like putting enough effort or there's not enough. See the three of pentacles is in reverse. So three of pentacles and upright tells me that person wants to put effort, they're working hard. So maybe this person's taking some downtime for you person's taking some downtime for you there isn't any type of competition or uh, a conflict with this person they're not dealing with any battling like this person's not in harm's way if they are like off battling hmm Wait, let, let's clarify that. Three of Pentacles. What's this Three of Pentacles about? Three of Pentacles. Oh, okay. I see. I see it now. So this is this is your old person here. This old person didn't put the effort into you. Maybe they didn't buy you things. Maybe they didn't take you nice places. This past person is reminiscing about you wanting to come back in and give you the Ten of Cups. This 
So they're going to give you that apology. And then they're going to come in and they're going to try to gain this Ten of Cups with you. But I think you guys are just going to sit there and reject the offer. You're just going to be like, oh, now? Now you want to fill into me? After not putting effort in for the last Ten of Cups, ten years, <laughs> you know? Now you want it? Now you want to give me... Now you only want to give me four of cups. I need the ten of cups. So I think you may reject that person, the past person. All right. So let's see what your past person would like to tell you that they're unable to tell you. This is my love me, love me not oracle deck, twin flame inspired and. Um, what your person would like to say that they're unable to say? I'm getting sleepy now. All right, what does this person want to say that they're unable to say? That was in reverse. I want to leap towards you was in reverse. So right now they're not ready to come in. I want you, baby. Yep. Yeah, they want. They still want you. Release me. That may be your energy. You saying that to them. I'm manifesting you back. I think that's your energy. You're going to be like, release me now. They're going to be like, I'm manifesting you back. I want to leave towards you. I want you, baby. And you're just like, where you been? Where you been all these years? Why you want me now? I'm releasing you because you broke my heart. And they're saying, don't break my heart. They're not wanting you to walk away, but too fucking bad. They're damaged. They're damaged. They damaged this connection. So now they have to sit in it. Bottom line. Let's see what this new person wants to say. New person. What do you want to say to the viewer? New person. I'm seeing you sign. I'm seeing signs of you everywhere. So this old energy still wants to come in here. New energy saying, I'm seeing you, seeing signs of you everywhere. I love you. I let my ego get in the way. You're better off without me. This could be all the old person. Take it how it resonates for you. I'm getting like mixed signals here. Maybe you guys have had very, like a lot of mixed signals in the past. New person. What's this energy from the new person? Clear this. Clear this old person out. They don't want to be cleared out. <laughs> They're like, no, you're not going to clear out my motherfucking energy. I want my person still. I want to bring abundance. I'm sorry I walked away person sorry they walked away trust me I dream about you it's not our time I let my ego get in the way that was there twice please don't lose feelings do with it what you will Free will. You know your situation better than me. All right, sexy time. Let's see. Now let's see the new person because that's not. You know why I think that deck's not working for you guys with this new person? Because there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong in this relationship so far. This could be a new relationship. Or a couple months you've been dating this person. So there's nothing love me love me not you're not confused there's not going to be any confusion with this person to make you flip-flop you're going to know right away this person likes you and wants to be abundant with you that wants to be sexual with you they they come in very clear with that sword so i think that's why it's not coming out i love that ass you see what i'm saying like they're going to come straight out and be like yeah i love your ass love that ass like claiming you like you know being proud that they have you by their side 
unlike this this past person probably couldn't do that for you the attraction isn't there in reverse so obviously there is you know there is an attraction there between you and they're letting it be known letting it be known scared of intimacy and bisexual so this person, I told you, this person does have a little bit of a uh, vulnerable side that they'll show you. They'll probably communicate the fact that they're a little scared to go into a relationship, poss possibly due to past situations. Uh, someone likes to, um, likes both sexes here. You make me so hard. So they're looking at your ass and they're saying, wow, damn, that's a nice ass. I'm getting hard. <laughs> smack my ass. All right, this is an ass person. They want to smack your ass. They love your ass. They want to put their hard wand up your ass. I'm waiting on you, you see? Run your fingers down my chest. So they're going to tease you a little bit. And they are waiting on you. Now, bisexual is throwing me for a loop here. You could be bisexual, but I don't, I don't know why that's here. Right now, are you, are you dating someone of the same sex? And this person's waiting for you to maybe come out of that same sex partnership and go with them? bisexual what's up slip and slide yeah they get real hard or wet for you or you get real wet for them so you guys are gonna be slipping and sliding in your ass crack deep penetration that's what i'm saying they go in deep 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 emotionally and sexually with you Oops, that one wanted to, you wanted to come out let's see come back baby ah there's that old fucking energy that was scared of intimacy quite possibly the old person could have been scared of intimacy for some of you it was the old person not this new person shit they're making themselves known they're coming in loud this past person's coming in loud and obnoxious quite possibly i'm waiting on you Coconut oil. Yeah, that's why you're going to be slipping and sliding all in the bed. Because there's going to be coconut oil, coconut oil all over the place. This bisexual thing. Curious. You know. Curious. Seven of Cups. I kind of think this person is dealing with someone of the same sex. That's Seven of Cups. Or that's you. Or you just, maybe when you go out and you drink, you like to hook up with the same sex. And this person sees that and they like it. Like, they wouldn't mind seeing you kiss another flower, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're like, hey, I'm down with that. I like that you like to lick flowers the same way as I do. <laughs> That's fine. That's balanced. <laughs> it's balanced. That's justified. I won't let that bother me. That won't hold me back from you. This person is losing patience. Come to approach you. It could be a Sagittarius or a Libra. They're losing patience. They're like waiting on you, waiting on you. Wanting to like balance it out. Wanting to take some ice cubes to your nipples and then blow, you know, their hot air on them and shit. They're teased. This person motherfucking teased. That best person is feeling guarded. They're listening to other people. People are telling this person that you are, you're out and you're about you're out and you're single and you're mingling and they are just like, no, my person, my person, feeling in the gutter. Oh fucking good. Oh well. Oh well. You don't see what you have in front of you. You don't see that you have a stable energy right in front of you that wanted to give all their pentacles to you, but you let your ego ride the show, Leo. 
Yeah, they see your strength. They see that you're moving forward and they, they really are in regret. They really are in regret that they didn't, they couldn't come in correctly for you, that they left you out, that they can't, they couldn't come in and apologize and do right by you. Yeah, they couldn't come in very emotional and considerate of your feelings. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Two of Cups is in reverse. What you're going to do is just go out on your own and stay driven and look sexy and put yourself out there and be ambitious and put this soulmate connection behind you. No longer feeding into this person emotionally because you don't, you don't see them, you don't feel the same way for each other. That's the bottom line. It's not even feelings here anymore. Wow, that past person is sucking the life out of me. My energy just went. So they definitely are, are feeling in that lack energy without you being present or you being accessible to them, no longer being accessible. All right. Let's get some initials for some clarity. Yeah, they're going to try to give you some tower moments here. They're going to try to stir shit up. You know what you need for your life, so deflect deflect the projection that they're putting onto you when they come in. Let's see. Yeah, detached. I keep seeing detached, detached, detached. H-T-T-H. P-H. Person could have a Ph.D., um, she, she, so same sex, that's what I'm saying, see, she, she, 21, could be born in October, the past person was giving sense, your birth date could be 12, January 2nd, February 1st, could have met this person in 21, though theo hp maybe you work for computers someone's like she rocks someone thinks you like rock like you you're fucking dope rocks l m n U D. I just heard Lud Lud Ludwig. Six years, eight years, eighty six, sixty eight. Victoria. Vasquez. M U. This person could be contacting you on Monday. Uh, right now they're doing the mundane. They aren't doing too much. They may have some type of vascular issues. 13 years, March 1st, March 2nd, March 6th, March 8th, August 2nd, August 6th, August 1st, August 12th, August 16th, August 18th, March 8th. You could have a 16 year old daughter UDI you could yeah for birth control be from DC Ben you could bring a bento box to work with you for lunch bento Vento, 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 venti, venti. Small, right? Or large, I don't know. Could be a Spanish speaking person. Besos. You got money? You got money. Somebody is very, uh, they like their material things. Definitely see that. Pete. Pedro, Vanessa, you could be going to Vegas, Las Vegas, Bosch, 
Basha. Mm. And something may have happened around Mardi Gras with you guys. What's going on? I, I see a lot of partying going on here. So I don't know if you guys are going, going somewhere, taking a trip. There's an X that's going to show up. So just prepare. Prepare for that. X. Six. The last six is June 6th. R. M. You got sex on the board. SEX. You're going to be having sex. Gma. You could be a grandma. Rex. Rex. I don't know. Could be a nickname. Maybe someone likes dinosaurs. Historian. MTA. Could be a train conductor. You could have a Maltese puppy. You could have Grand Mall Seizures. Garden State. MLS. All right, you could be looking at homes. Maybe you're selling a home. If you are looking for real estate in New Jersey, I got you back. I'm a real estate agent over here with One Stop Realty Shop. So message me on IG, Jesse Ray, One Stop Realty. Got to put that little plug in there for you. Uh, 76, 86, 36, 38, 66, 26, 28, 23. DA, you could be working with a detective, or this person could be a detective. Let's see that. Rec, okay, recreational. Maybe this person is involved in a recreational program. Damn, they're saying, damn, look at that ass. LSM, Leslie, MLS. SNL, maybe like Saturday Night Live. Someone has a good, uh, good sense of humor. Vento. I'm getting like Russian and and Spanish mix here. Um, um. Yumi, um. Um, you. Not sure. That's it. That's what we got. Also, someone has a nice chest. I keep seeing pecs in these reads. 4343s. That could be your age. Or look up that angel number. Neon. Someone dresses flashy. Louse. Dan. Minnesota, RS, DL, oh, someone's, you keep in this relationship on the DL, mountains, maybe going to the mountains, they may live by a mountain, <gasps> oh no, 80, could be born in 1980, 1980, you could do pest control. And that's it. That's what I got. I got to close it out. All right. So if you guys would like to donate to the channel, if these reads do resonate with you and help you in your life, feel free to donate. I have a link tree uh, link below. There's an Amazon wish list. I also take cash, um, cash donations. If you'd like for me to light some candles for you, these are $5. Uh, the set, the full alignment, the chakra healing intention candles, the set is for 25. You save a little bit of money there. Uh, my merch is over uh, the Oracle decks. They're 40 with $2 shipping. I have crop top hoodies, full length hoodies. Those are uh, limited though. I only have a few left. 
and protection jars, protection spray bottles. I now have these are five, five, five. You get to choose your essential oil, and you get a feather charm on there. All right. So, what do you need in here for your higher good to get yourself feeling better? Self care. Self care. Are you needing to speak up? Use your throat chakra. Sing a song. Make sure you're speaking clearly, clearly communicating your needs and wants. You're needing some time with friends, taking a, taking a night out just to chill and drink some chocolate, chocolate wine and socialize a little bit, connect with your crystals. There may be, um, what crystals would I say for you guys? I would do like an opalite. If I had to say a crystal to choose, I would say opalite. It brings back in joy and clarity and happiness to you. Yeah, make sure that you're keeping up with your beauty ritual. Maybe this weekend you go out and you get a manicure, pedicure, maybe get your, you know, your beard cleaned up, get your hair cut, and you're needing to clear out your energy field. You could do that with Palo Santo, sage, uh, salt baths. Drinking a lot of water can cleanse you out. Oh, that's clear your space. I'm sorry. Well, clear your space too. Dust. Organize. Get the energy flowing around your home or in your car or office. All right, that's what I got for you. Hope you enjoyed the read. Hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. I do appreciate all the donations, likes, and bookings that I get on a daily basis. If you cannot donate to my channel, uh, what you could do for me is throw me back into the algorithm. So how you do that is by commenting, sharing, liking, following over on Instagram, Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray One Stop Realty on Instagram, Jesse Ray on Facebook. TikTok is Roots and Rewards Jesse Ray. That's my main page. That's I think we're up to 25,000 now. And then my backup page is Roots and Rewards Jesse, which I suggest following the backup page because my 53,000 page already got shut down once. So the 25,000 people are reporting my shit on there. So make sure to follow so I don't lose uh, your energy. The more outlets you follow on, the easier it is for me to pull on your energy to give you the best advice possible for your situations. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Next up is going to be uh, Twin Flames, hoping by Monday. We'll see if it happens, but I would like it to happen, so it probably will. Bye, guys.